Hi guys, welcome back. Honda's SP125 was the first BS6 bike to be launched by Honda and it's that stylish and sporty bike which is targeting people who like aggressive design. But that classic slot in the 125cc segment was left empty and untouched until now. And here to make things even, Honda has finally launched the Shine 125 BS6 which is actually a classic style bike. Well these two bikes both have a 125cc engine which is of BS6 standard but their design is entirely different. So are these differences only on the design side? Or is it much more? Well, this video is all about that. We are comparing the Honda SP125 and the Honda Shine BS6. For this comparison, there are 5 factors under consideration, which is the design and build quality, specifications, ride quality and comfort, mileage and price. And starting with the design and build quality, as I said in the beginning, these two bikes have a very different styling where the SP125 is the sporty and aggressive one, while the Shine BS6 is the classic one. When you take a look at the SP125, you can see that aggression and sharpness throughout, where the headlight is a modern one with a matching visor, and on the sporty tank, there is a very stylish looking tank cowl. And on top of all this, the graphics used throughout is pretty sharp with standout color combination, and also for the tail light, it also blends very well with the overall design. But with the Shine BS6, there isn't any sharpness or aggression, but on the other hand, everything is very familiar where the headlight is a simple one with a glossy visor and you also get a chrome finish section in the visor. Then for the tank, it's a very moderately sized one with again a familiar graphics and for the tail light, it's a standard looking one. So from taking an overview, the theme is actually well set in both these bikes, but here even though certain things are part of the design, it does play a big role in the functionality side. And one of it is the headlight. Well, the headlight used in the SP125 is a LED one, while on the Shine BS6, it's a DC halogen light. Now, both these headlights have good range and coverage, which makes night rides pretty easy, but from the two, the better one is without any surprise, the LED headlight of the SP125. And that upper hand of the SP125 is again seen with the instrument console used. The SP125 gets a fully digital meter, which displays plenty of useful information. That is the speed, fuel level, time, gear position indicator, real-time fuel efficiency, average fuel efficiency, distance to empty, eco indication, etc. The panel's readability is excellent and overall this instrument console is a pretty great one. But with the Shine BS6, well the meter console is a fully analog one and the info shown is the basic stuff. Now I feel this analog meter used in the Shine BS6 might be to keep that classic touch intact and also maybe to keep the cost down. But when you check the handlebar, actually it's the same design which is the U-shaped one but the color theming is different but for the switch controls they are the same. There is the dim bright and flashlight as a single switch along with indicator toggle and horn on the left side and on the right side there is the engine start and stop switch. These switches are pretty handy and yeah, the quality of these switches are actually the same in both the bikes. And about the overall build quality, both are very sturdy and well built bikes but one of the advantage of the Shine BS6 is that there is lesser fiber parts used and therefore I would give that slight upper hand for the Shine BS6 in terms of long term durability. So from the first factor, one thing is pretty clear and that is if you prefer a classic design, your option is the Shine BS6 but if you want a sporty design, then the SP125 is the one to get. Well, a couple of things you will miss with the Shine BS6 is the LED headlight and the fully digital meter but what you gain with the Shine BS6 is that slight upper hand in terms of durability. This factor is very individual centric because design preference varies based on riders and therefore let's move on to check the second factor which is the specifications. This factor is an easy one because it's just a spec sheet that compares values in paper. And let's first take the engine spec and as you can see both are powered by a 124cc single cylinder PGM FI BS6 engine. The max power and torque values are almost the same and about the tire specifications, well they are the exact same in both the bikes. And actually it's the same story with the brakes used too. It depends on the model you get and here for both the bikes there are two models. Then for the suspension, well once again it's the same in both the bikes. The front is a telescopic one and the rear is a hydraulic one. And now finally for the body dimensions, there is very slight difference in the length, width and height of both the bikes but the wheelbase is same in both the bikes. And for the ground clearance, it's 160mm in the SP125 and 162mm in the Shine BS6. Then about the curb weight, well the Shine BS6 is the lighter bike where the disc variant weighs 115kg while with the SP125, the disc variant weighs 118 kilograms. Then for the seat height of both the bikes, they are very close where in the SP125 it's 790 mm, while in the Shine BS6 it's 791 mm. And finally for the fuel tank capacity, the SP125 has a slightly bigger tank with 11 litre capacity, while the Shine BS6's tank capacity is 10.5 litres. So from this factor, the main core thing of both the bikes looks very similar, and that's why we have a third factor, which is the ride quality and comfort, which will help us understand more in depth about these two bikes. For this factor, we'll first take the SP125 and here while road testing it, the impressions are great. Right from starting the engine where it starts in this race state and then sets well to hitting the road, 
All are very impressive for a 125cc bike. The engine is very refined and smooth and throughout the testing I did enjoy every bit of the ride. The acceleration chart is linear but there is impressive performance especially for a 125cc bike. Here in the 80s the engine wasn't stressed and that's something I haven't seen in the old BS4 version. But here still with the SP125 the most enjoyable and comfortable speed range is actually between the 0 to 70 km per hour mark. The seat even though very long and sufficiently wide the side cushioning could have been better. But still, since the riding posture is perfectly upright, and that combined with moderately soft set front and rear suspension, even while riding for 50km in a stretch, I didn't experience any discomfort. And now with the Shine BSX, well the initial starting impressions is actually the same where the engine sets well and on hitting the road, the engine's refinement is very similar to the SP125. Well that's mainly because at core, it's basically the same engine in both the bikes, but it's tuned a bit differently. Now here also with the Shine BSX, the acceleration chart has that linear trend, but there is slight bit of punch in the first two gears. And about the performance, like the SP125, here also in the 80s, there wasn't any engine stress and also literally no vibrations too. I mean with the SP125, I did notice a slight vibration in the footpack while riding in the 80 mark and with the Shine BSX, that wasn't there. But still with both the bikes, I won't recommend you ride at high speed and that's mainly because both the bikes have very narrow tires and also average brakes. And here with both the bikes, the safe recommended speed I feel is below 65 km per hour. Under that speed, while applying quick brakes, both the bikes stayed under control. Now about the right comfort for the Shine BSX, firstly the seat even though long, it's not very wide but has good cushioning and for riding posture it's perfectly upright and also the suspension stiffness felt slightly more stiffer compared to the SP125. But here also even after riding for approximately 50km in a stretch there wasn't any discomfort or stress. But if in case you're wondering which bike has the upper hand in terms of ride comfort, well for that I would say the SP125 has slightly better ride comfort for both the rider and the pillion. And actually that's the same thing for the right control too. The structure of the SP125 does help for better hold of the tank and that does help to do more quick flicks. But still considering the fact that the Shine BSX is a lightweight bike, even with that, getting through traffic or avoiding a porthole is very easy. And also one more thing to notice that both the bikes have 5 speed transmission which are actually precise and easy to shift in both the bikes, but the way the gear is laid out is different in both the bikes. With the SP125 we get the usual standard pattern where the first gear is down and the rest is up. While with the Shine BSX, it's all up. There is something like getting used to things and for me, I'm pretty much accustomed with the standard pattern in the SP125 and I did prefer it. But one fact is that after some time, we'll surely get used to the gear pattern in the Shine BSX too. With both these 125cc bikes, for the right quality and comfort, even though the differences seems very minor, you can experience it. With the SP125, the performance is very slightly better with slight upper hand in ride comfort and control. While with the Shine BSX, what you get is more of a better initial power delivery, which is more advantageous for city overtakes. I did thoroughly enjoy the ride experience with both these bikes and also about the seat height. For me, both the bikes seat height was ideal. My legs does reach the ground and does stay well planted and also I didn't experience any issues with the handlebar too. And for your reference, my height is 176 cm. So now to the fourth factor and that's the mileage. This factor is a very important one especially for a commuter bike and here we were able to do an intense mileage test with the SP125 and the mileage we got from the SP125 is a whopping 70 km per liter and that test was done in a real life kind of situation. And with the Shine BSX we were only able to do an approx calculation and it was done just while riding in city and the mileage we got was approximately 64 km per liter. Now we'll be doing a more of a real life kind of mileage testing with the Shine BSX pretty soon and if you don't want to miss that content and also all the future contents please do hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon. And now to the last factor which is the price. Well this factor is a pretty obvious one because both these bikes are the BSX updated versions and hence both are pricier than their older versions. But here from these two the more expensive bike is the SP125 where there is approximately 3500 Indian rupees difference for the disc variant of both these bikes. Now if you're from Kollam Kerala and you want to know the on-road pricing or do a test ride or even make a booking you can contact the number shown here. Well I guess that's everything for the comparison and now it's time to pick one. Well just for a quick glance once more with the SP125 you get a sporty design, better headlight, fully digital and info focus meter console, slightly better high speed performance and very slightly improved ride comfort and control. And with the Shine BSX you get a classic design, quicker acceleration in the lower speed range, slight advantage in long term durability because of lesser fiber parts and also a lesser price tag. Well here even though there are slight differences in each factor, the core thing for decision making is still the same. Right when I started the video, I did say that the SP125 is for people who like sporty design and the Shine BSX is for people who like classic design bikes. And I still feel that's the main deciding factor. Well you can actually tailor your decision if you're not concerned about the design, but if design matters a lot then you already know the one to pick. And by the way for me, I like sporty design and therefore my pick without any doubt from the two is the SP125. That's all for this comparison video. Now before you leave, I would love to know which one is your pick. So please leave that in the comment section and also if you like the video, it would be nice if you could hit the like button. 
See you again in the next one. Till then, bye and always ride safe.